when I was a little girl. I decided to be, to, to be a healer, to alleviate suffering. And I'm proud to be a woman, proud to be an African, proud to be a global fighter, and proud to be the vice chancellor of the first university who have equity in its title. Having seen my country in a so devastated uh, situation where poor people were dying for tools that exist in the world and for skills that exist in the world, and the fact that I had that skill and that I have the opportunity to use my education to advocate and to bring what was missing, uh, it has changed my life. It was not possible to have what my people needed without having an action at global level to change and make things accessible to, to my people. My partner in health, first of all, uh, have a pro-poor agenda and a systematic pro-poor agenda. And uh, the, the other thing that partner in health has is partner in health support the public service to provide quality service to the poor and the vulnerable. And also work for sustainability, for building system, and um, align very easily to national priorities, but also strategies, plan, and legal framework. And they don't come to teach you how to do business. They come and listen and ask you how they can help. There is nothing you are more addicted to than success when you see that the health sector is growing but also contributing to economic development, to fighting poverty and disease, to help people to go to, uh, to access school and the life of uh, uh, many, many people improving and being part of that has no price. It's known, HIV, malaria, TB are disease of poverty. There is a vicious circle of uh, poverty and disease. So we have put the development of the health sector in the economic development of the country. And if you see the difference between Partner in Health and other organizations, Partner in Health is at service of the public sector. And there is no private sector who can treat, educate, poor people who doesn't have the capacity to pay. And it's not a criticism. We have different mission. It is the role of the government to protect and to educate and to develop the poor and leave them out of poverty. When we want to create a health uh, insurance, we had defeat against us. We had so many people saying, we want you to give free care. And we told them, when we will give free care? When you are gone, who is going to make it free if we don't have enough taxes to make it free? So we want the people who can pay to pay, and the people who cannot pay, we pay for them. We had other opponents, those who just say, too poor, uh, not educated, they will never make it. This is somebody from the Congress in the US. Don't give them IRVs, let them die. Because if they will not take it, they don't know what time means. They don't know how to take it. And what is strange now, since five years, we have proved them wrong. We have better results than New York and Toronto. Partner and Hans has built two hospitals and a half in Rwanda. There is no other NGOs who have done that. A hospital never goes. That means it's built for sustainability, for serving long, for a long-term service to the population. The others give you the capacities to provide services, but it's short term. So that is the difference: proper sustainability and uh, going to true service to the people, infrastructure, education, true education, not only in service education, true academic education and true response to the need expressed by the people in the country. How can we provide quality service to the poor and the vulnerable where they are? If we can see what happened in Haiti, where the money is going through NGOs and so little to the communities and the people, uh, not only 
the traditional way to be an NGO, there's some poor government, there's some poor communities, has no sustainability, but then it has to do the contrary. Um, poor go try to empower government to do its business of government and try to empower communities by giving them better access to health services and awareness and to have a voice.